Six weeks after the election, the government announced its first economic package. Sickness benefits for solo parents were cut by 11%. Widows' benefits were cut by 17%. The dole for adults under 25 was cut by 25%. Charges for doctors' visits and medicines were increased. The public health system would be reviewed, education spending was cut, and further reports commissioned. The welfare state was being redesigned. Basically, uh, if you move with enough speed, as they had, uh, for that December 19 package, you can get away with it. But what's very clear, though, is that the December 19 package was written long way before the 1990 election. It wasn't prepared after the election. It was probably in full preparation in August, September, before the election. People are already struggling to survive just with the basic necessities of food, going to the doctors, things like that. So those, those things, which are the necessities which people can't meet now, are going to be put even further out of their reach. Beneficiaries are going to have a billion dollars less to spend next year. That's a billion dollars less spending in the shops. That's a billion dollars less production. That's a billion dollars less employment. Lower benefits were necessary for the next step in the new right program, reducing labour costs by cutting the pay packets of unskilled, low-paid and young workers. One of the major reasons why this government has had to face up to doing the things that we announced uh, is that we need to create the gap between work and welfare. Graham. Do we need to shake hands? <laughs>